Folks, remember in uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 12, the dragon goes after Israel. So please keep that in mind. Not only goes after Israel, but also the church, Jesus Christ, his offspring, who keep his commandments. It's the dragon that does all these things. So as you see the world turning more and more against the nation of Israel, please keep that in mind. Do not be deceived. You know, it doesn't mean that you uh, that Israel is perfect, but you see how the world is going to turn against Israel, as it says in the Bible prophecy. From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! October the 7th, do you think that was... Because there's, there's, there's debate about the wording. Do you think it was a terrorist attack or a resistance fight? Um, uh, a bit of both. A bit okay. of both. I, so think, you... I think that they've got a, re a, a legitimate resistance reason to resist. fighters can do terror as well as But it, it was quite barbaric, though. That's uh, well, was... I think it was less barbaric than the Israelis are pretending. I think that a lot of people, civilians, were killed by the Israelis. No babies were killed on October the 7th. The Israelis didn't have it. They were 40 beheaded. So you think it's fake? Like a Not lot of all the, fake, but some, the, the, the reporting of it is exaggerating. It was bad enough without exaggerating to a level. It was in a definite attempt to dehumanise the Palestinians to justify what came next. Right, so, so you think, do you see Hamas as a terror group uh, or do you see them no, as... I, 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 no, they're not a terror group. They no. might carry out acts of terror now and again. I think that the, the British state isn't a terror organisation, but it carries out acts of terror. OK, so, so do you think Hamas should stay? Well, yeah, they're Palestinian. So what, what do you think the solution is to the... I actually don't know what the solution is right now. OK. I, I just don't know. Does anybody know what the solution is? So you, you wouldn't call for Israel to be dis, dismantled and Israelis to be thrown out of the Holy Land, of the, the land of Israel, would you? Um, yeah, I'm just wondering. That anybody should be thrown out of anywhere. Okay. Actually. I mean, we're looking for a peaceful resolution to this. Yeah. Right. That's, that's Putting that. pressure on the UK government to Definitely to cease fire. Definitely cease fire. What will it take? I mean, I cannot look at any more images coming out of, of Palestine and Gaza and, and children and babies blown to bits. I cannot stand it anymore. Right. So what, what do you think about October the 7th? I don't know what I think about October the 7th. I don't watch mainstream news, so I... The, the terrorist attack that took place in know. Israel. I don't know. Would you condemn... I mean, I, I can, I can, obviously, yeah. any decent person would yeah. condemn any acts of violence. This is a genocide happening in front of the eyes, and the world is watching. We cannot be silent spectators. Today, we are hoping a million people will be marching out on the streets and going to the embassy because a people who are silent and they are spectators and they are watching, that means indirectly they are also supporting the oppression. Genocide supporters in Ghana. When I say Joe Biden, you say blood on your hands. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Put your fists up and make sure that those morally bankrupt cowards can hear you. Free, free!